So here we are at Centerline Vet, and this sweet baby was brought in. It's a female, is that correct? So we named her Pebbles, and Pebbles is in pretty bad shape here. She has extensive matting and is not able to walk, really, because of her mats. Um, yeah, you poor girl. Yeah, you poor baby. So she was found by someone, of course, running on the streets of Detroit. Um, we got a call about uh, 5.30 this morning about this sweet girl. Um, and uh, so she is here uh, getting veterinary care, and we are going to try to get her cleaned up and see if she's able to walk once we uh, get some of these mats out. Okay, so we're here at Centerline Vet. We have a little female, looks like a Shih Tzu mix, brought in this morning. Um, she was actually found at about 5.30 this morning in Detroit, um, severely matted. So uh, we're here at Centerline Vet, and they are trying to clip away some of these mats um, and get a better look at her. We also want to see if once the mats are gone, if she's able to walk. Right now, she's not walking. We can see, look at that. It's really, really bad. Tell us your story. What happened to you? Did you get away from your home and get matted? Or did you have someone that was neglecting you, you poor baby? Look at that beautiful face. You got a beautiful face. Yes, you do. I'm going to get you all fixed up here. I bet you'll, you're going to get the, the best beauty treatment known to man. <laughs> or dogs, I should say. It's not fun, is it, being in this condition? Poor girl. How about some nice treats after after they're all done, huh? Doesn't that sound good? You're such a cutie pie. Yeah. You're not even flinching. You're probably happy to be getting some help, right? <laughs> she hasn't made a peep, has she? <laughs> Look at that. That is really bad. You're gonna feel so much better. Yeah, you're gonna feel so much better. Yeah, you are. I already love you. Yes, I do. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Who's here? Yeah. out of shape, right? It was just, it was not something that would happen overnight. It was something that took quite, quite a long time to get to this point. circulation. It can cause uh, these small dogs to have to actually have amputations because what it does is it cuts off the circulation 
um, you know, in their legs and or wherever that the hair is extremely matted. So and she, is, you know, look at her. What a sweet dog. She is so nice. Hasn't made a peep. You know, you just wonder like who would let this nice, beautiful, probably expensive dog get in this shape. It's just look at that. That is so bad. I mean, that's just all her. That's one. That's not even a leg, like these girls are saying. That's just all matted fur. Yeah, you're going to feel better. You're looking a little rough right now, but don't worry. You're going to feel so much better. Yeah, I wish you could talk and tell us how this happened. or she, you know, isn't trying to walk. We, we think because the mats are so bad, they're preventing her from actually walking. So we're hoping that once she's shaved down and the hair is removed, then she will be able to uh, walk. You know, if you're just talking about how dangerous this is, because when those mats get really bad, they can actually cut off the circulation um, to these poor dogs' you know, limbs. And once the circulation is cut off, then it usually does require amputation. Look at her, how nice she is. She's just like, do whatever, I don't care. Pebbles, you sweet girl. You have a happy life ahead of you, my friend. Believe me, this will never happen to you again. We'll make sure of it. Like she just, oh yeah. Bunny here is bringing up a really good point. Um, on our, you see her posting here, um, she's talking about the mats causing sores too, and that's correct, they do cause sores. And the sad part is these dogs cannot help themselves. They expect you know, to get a dog, a small dog like this, and these dogs are able to take them to a room on a regular basis. several coats, Over right? 90.
hate that. That is just so bad. and that's how you got in this condition because you probably would be a little skinnier um, if you were just out on the street by yourself scrounging for food. So this poor baby, um, this is really sad. And we will come back a little later, folks, when um, she is being shaved down under stage. So here we are at Center Line Vet with Sweet Pebbles and the awesome Jamie that back with Center Line Vet. Baby is now under sedation because this is so much more comfortable for her to be shaved down in court. Um, you know, she won't be in pain or anything, but just look at that hair. That's just unbelievable. So, this is something that didn't happen overnight. It probably it took more than a couple months for this to happen. This is something that is a gross negligence. Um, have you ever heard this dog? Look at that. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, in, uh, you know, shortly here, after she's completely shaved down and checked out, uh, we anticipate she will feel like a brand new dog. She needs so much better and uh, will, will feel great and never go through this again. So we are now live at um, Centerline Veterinary Hospital where she travels. So here we are now with Sweet Girl Pebbles. She has um, gotten done with her surgery and is out of sedation. We see that she got a nice haircut here, so no more painful um, tangles and, and uh, mats causing her pain. You're a sweet girl. Yeah. You're a little scared, aren't you? Yeah, you had a tough day, didn't you? 
It's not fun running the streets of Detroit for a little girl, is it? So we are happy to say that she did not have pyrometria, but because they were concerned about infection, they did go ahead and spay her, um, which we felt was the best thing to do. And now she's uh, just relaxing and uh, getting used to life on the inside and um, in a safe place and not be running the streets of Detroit scared and alone. This poor girl. Yeah, you're going to be feeling a lot better very soon, you sweet baby. Look at her. She's so beautiful. You're so cute. Hey, sweet girl. You're still not 100% yet, are you? But you are eating now. Yeah. You don't want that? She's feeling a little bit better. She's not 100%. You don't want bacon? What? You don't want bacon. So, sweet girl um, Pebbles did actually have to have some intravenous fluids this morning. She's still not feeling 100%. Hey, sweet girl. How about a little hamburger? Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a bacon burger from Burger King. And it tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes so good. How about a little, a little more? Aw, oh, Pebbles. Aw, oh, Pebbles. So, Sweet Girl Pebbles was rescued yesterday. She was found early in the morning on the streets um, of Detroit in super bad condition. Um, a kind person saw her and picked her up and called us and, you know, said that you know, she'd found a, an injured dog that needed help. And that's probably a little too big, huh? And so uh, we did agree to take her in, and uh, she was severely matted. So we made sure that uh, she had all her mats um, shaved down yesterday. And um, she also looked like she had some infection coming out of her um, vagina. So we, um, the, the vet recommended that um, she go ahead and be spayed because we did not want that to turn to pyometria. So that was done. Yeah, and she's feeling a little better today. Not 100% yet, but um, definitely feeling better. We see she's eating. I have not seen her walk yet, but the girls tell me that she did walk a little bit. So that's good to hear. Right, Pebbles? You're so sweet. Everybody loves you because you're a doll. Yes. Oh, my God. You are so cute. Look at her. Oh, my God. You're like a little clown. You're like a little clown. Can you dance? You can dance? Oh my God, you can dance. Somebody taught you to dance. Oh my God, you are so cute. Oh, Pebbles, you good girl. You're feeling so much better.